Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Hope you're having a wonderful day. As always, today we're going to talk about the Cardano ecosystem, a bunch of new projects that are building on Cardano. I saw something on Twitter the other day that said that nobody is seeing any projects being built on Cardano and I very, very much tend to disagree. So I wanted to wrap up some, of, I'm not all of them, but some of the key projects that are building on Cardano that I'm super excited about and just ones that you should be looking out for. And this is another way, as I always say, to get ahead of the herd, start researching some of these projects, getting in on these token sales and really, you know, getting in on the early stages as we always talk about. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, just my opinion. I'm a really big fan of Cardano. It's where I've made the best ROI and I still think there's plenty of profits not only to be made with ADA in the short and long term, but also with the projects being built on Cardano. I've talked about some of the main ones like Sunday Swap, Coddy, and a couple of the other majors, but I do want to talk about some lesser known projects today. Before we get into that, I do want to talk about Card Starter and Sunday Swap joining forces. I do think this is going to be absolutely huge for the Cardano DEXs. So I very, very much can, you know, if you haven't already look into Sunday Swap, look into Card Starter. The market is down at the moment, so Card Starter is a bargain at approximately $24, $25 per token, but Sunday Swap is really the one to watch, talking about an initial stake pool offering instead of an IDO. So I just wanted to make that one of the first things I talked about, but let's get into it. So Indigo is one of the first projects I wanted to talk about, and they are building assets on the blockchain. Indigo is an algorithmic autom autonomous synthetics protocol for on-chain price exposure to real-world assets built on Cardano. So Indigo allows the creation of fungible assets, synthetics that track the price of real-world assets. Indigo synthetics are intended to be used as key building blocks in smart contracts and to bring the world's assets to the blockchain. So you can mint, trade, pull, stake and govern all from this. The white papers on their website talks about the indie token, the token allocation, stability pools, assets, DEX airdrops, all sorts of stuff. This is one that I'm definitely watching very, very closely and I will be making um, independent videos on most of these ones. So keep an eye on that on my channel as we get closer and closer to the Alonzo launch. So this is the first one. Now up next, we're going to be talking about Token. I'm very sorry if I pronounce any of these wrongs throughout this video. So this will be Cardano NFT and FT Marketplace where you mint, sell, trade and explore. So I've got a bit of a demo here of what the marketplace is going to look like. Again, this is all in the very, very early stages here, guys. And that's why I was saying this is how to get ahead of the herd, how to research projects, the teams, all that sort of stuff and decide whether you want to invest early before this becomes mainstream. So you've got their roadmap here. A lot of it is obviously in progress. They've completed some of the things they wanted to complete. But again, very early stages. They are also in the NFT space. So the NFT space has, a lot, has had a lot of attention lately. I don't think it's a bubble. I think NFTs are going to be here for quite a while. But just something to explore and, you know, bit bland of a website, but because it is NFTs, I would definitely keep an eye on this one and potentially do a video on this one as well. Up next, we have Ergo or Ergo 101, a hand-picked collection of information, videos and links all about Ergo. So you can see here that it is being built on the Cardano ecosystem and the Cardano blockchain. So Ergo is a revolutionary UTXO based blockchain protocol built to be an efficient and secure financial contracts platform with radically new DeFi functionality. Founded by some of Charles Hoskinson's favorite technologists who also contributed to the development of Cardano, NXT, Scorex, Waves, and SmartContract.com, also now also known as Chainlink, Ergo is a proof-of-work blockchain platform with, with Turing Complete Touring complete smart contracts that employs a number of advanced features like zero known proofs, ring signatures, oracles, and adjustable block size. So this one here is definitely one that I'm going to keep an eye on, especially with it being in the DeFi space. There's a quote here, it has learned from mistakes made by Bitcoin and Ethereum and developed some of the most innovative and brilliant solutions and technologies ever created in cryptocurrency and smart contract space. So you get the roadmap here and it goes, you know, a little bit about what, what these guys want to do. It's got some links, but this does sound very promising. 
talks about NFTs as well. So this is a very, very interesting one. I will make a separate video on Ergo, but definitely keep an eye on this one, guys. Moving on to the next one, we've got Love Lace Academy. Attract, inspire, and educate builders and visionaries to build on top of Cardano's game-changing smart contracts and native assets platform. So you've got the founders here, you know, get updates. It doesn't really say much about what these guys actually do, but they do have a YouTube channel that you guys could go to and find out what these guys are actually about. Up next, we have OCCAM5, Cardano's Smart DeFi Layer. So it's called Oakum Razor. I believe, I do apologize if I am saying that wrong, but uh, Ocam.fi is a suite of DeFi solutions tailored for Cardano, designed to deliver market-leading launchpad capabilities, DEX tools, and liquidity pools. Ocam is the first and most significant addition to Cardano's rapidly expanding DeFi landscape. The first component of Ocam's ecosystem is its decentralized funding platform or launchpad called Ocam Razor. Through this launchpad, the next generation of disruptive Cardano applications can undertake significant capital raises through Oakham Razor's IDO capabilities. So again, launchpads are very much in at the moment. Obviously, Cardstarter is a launchpad as well and has been doing quite well. So we'll be keeping an eye on this one and talking more about this as I do more research. Now, up next, we've got Singularity Net. And this is the in the AI space. I've got a fair few videos on my channel about the AI space. It's definitely one that I'm keeping a close eye on. And it's Cardano's AI plus blockchain partnership, resulting in trillions of market cap. So Singularity Net is a video that I've got planned for the next couple of weeks, but it's all about AI. I am keeping a close eye on this one quite cheap at the moment. I definitely suggest doing some research on this one. But it is the world's first decentralized AI oracle and global artificial general intelligence platform that combines interoperatives, the world's narrow AI, and data resources into a hive mind AI web, AI oracle, or AI marketplace built on new singularity next www.ai protocol. Up next, we have Liquid spelt L-I-Q-W-I-D. It is the E-U-X, so U-T-X-O liquidity protocol. Liquid is an open source algorithmic and non-custodial interest rate protocol built for lenders, borrowers, and developers. So again, Liquid established establishes decentralized money markets via smart contracts to enable leaders to automatically earn the prevailing supply rate and developers to build interest directly into their product. So it's a decentralized marketplace for lenders and borrowers. And again, this is one that I am keeping a pretty close eye on as well. Up next, we have Revuto. So introducing Revuto crypto subscriptions on Cardano. Revuto is a crypto powered solution for subscription payments built on Cardano's scalable smart contract network. Revuto transforms your digital wallet into a digital bank, supporting recurring payments for all the goods and services you love. So they had a public token sale on May 18th, and it's a love-hate affair. Subscriptions are great. They're how we pay for software, digital media, cosmetics, food deliveries, content streaming, etc., etc. Subscription payments, however, are cumbersome to set up and hard to cancel. The result, consumers are overcharged and underserved by a system that preys on people's forgetful nature. Scrutinize your credit card statement and you'll probably discover all manner of recurring payments that you set up many moons ago and then never got around to cancelling. Surely, surely there's a better way. That's where Revuto helps. So really, 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 really keen on Revuto, keen to find out more. So I will be doing a video on this one in the coming weeks as well. But I do think that that the subscription market is a big one to tap into. Up next, we've got Project Muse. I don't have a lot on this one, but it is built by a musician for musicians. Project Muse aims to build a decentralized music ecosystem on the Cardano blockchain based on the central premise of removing interme intermediaries in order to directly connect musicians with their listeners, thus enabling increased direct profits for musicians. The concept of this alone, even though it's a short description, is very interesting to me because 
you see all the time musicians suing their record labels and suing streaming platforms and all sorts of things because of royalties and not getting enough money. So I do think that this has big potential, but let's see what, what comes from it in the next couple of months. Now, up next, we've got Iagon. Iagon is a startup focused on leveraging blockchain to build a decentralized big data platform. It raised $3.4 million in seed and private funding from a group of reputable crypto-centric investment funds, which is very interesting. They're all named here. But Eagon enables the storage of all types of files, including big data repositories and large media files, all the way to smaller files used by the average person. In addition, the Eagon Eagon network enables secure computation, allowing resource-intensive tasks such as artificial intelligence and machine learning op operations to be processed in a decentralized cloud. So again, all of these platforms are very interesting, have very interesting use cases, and definitely should be ones to watch. Now, just to wrap up the video, guys, I am discovering a lot of these on the Cardano Live podcast and the Cardano Live podcast YouTube channel. So you can see a lot of the founders, CEOs, and people working on these projects do go on the Cardano Live podcast. And this is just another way for you guys to be ahead of the herd. So I did want to show you this. Uh, that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know if there's any projects I haven't talked about that you're excited to hear about or excited to see on the Kanano ecosystem. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, watch this space.